these fields were plowed and disked year after year. And uh, that kind of farming throughout the world, we've probably lost 50 to 80% of the soil organic matter, that soil humus, over, over the last 150 years. Soil stores an incredible amount of carbon and the only way it stores carbon is through plant photosynthesis and through the development of soil organic matter. If we can restore the carbon that used to be in the soil, it's a win-win, baby. We're talking win-win because it's taking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, putting it back into the soil. It improves soil productivity, diversity of life, everything from wildlife to the crops we can grow. It reduces the amount of irrigation water that we need to apply. It just does incredible things. But I worry about the future generations. This is critical to them that we learn how to develop a regenerative agriculture. And to do that, we have to start with building soil health. It's critical. And how do we do that? We do it by putting the carbon back into it. Conservationists like Richard King have shown us that living soil has an enormous capacity to pull carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and store it in the ground. But you don't have to be a farmer to help rebuild soil health. You can help by composting, by planting a garden, and by buying organic food. Spread the word about the important role building healthy soil plays in fighting climate change by sharing this video and by heading over to coolfoodscampaign.org to join us in the fight for a stable climate.